Hello, it's Nemo, and welcome back to Tea Times Tuesday, where I, Nemo, am here to sip the tea and not spill the tea. And today I have some tea from Tea Vanna, or Tea Vanna, I'm not sure how to really pronounce it. Today's tea has a strong minty aroma. It smells like, like spearmint gum. Um, I don't really chew gum, but like, it has that strong spearmint mint smell. Um, there's not a, like a very strong like tea or mint taste to it. Um, it tastes like, a, I don't know, it kind of tastes like hot water really to me with like slight like green tea kind of taste to it and a very light minty like that cool feeling when you eat mint or consume mint or whatever uh, but it's very it's very subtle it says here that it has spearmint peppermint and a touch of lemon verbena verbena i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right oh well but today man people are just really rude now, i'm not saying everybody's rude there's just a lot of people out there who are just really rude. And for what reason? It might be because they're just selfish. They're probably like rich or something and just kind of look down on everybody else. Or they just surround themselves around rude people and they kind of take in all of the rudeness and spread it like wildfire or something like that. There's just a bunch of different situations that rude people can really show their colors. And for some examples, it's just like customer service jobs, you know, retail, making people like want to buy a certain thing and just making them happy, right? Like, you know, working just like a cashier job. Like, okay, I'm scanning your groceries or whatever you're buying and I'm the one that game gets blamed for it why <laughs> also like servers waitresses waiters you know anybody that really works in a restaurant when that person doesn't tip or anything it's just like dude come on like i get other countries or some countries like don't tip and so it's not really in the culture to tip but here in the united states it's like dude there's a thing called tipping your wait staff and then they had the audacity to say, oh, if you wanted money, why didn't you get a real job? And it's just like, dude, this is a real job. I applied to work here. It's listed as a job. <laughs> and then there's people who are online just being rude to other people who are online. Like, I'm just here to look at memes and have a good time, just chilling not trying to worry about anything and then someone replies to my comment about oh this was a cool meme someone else is just gonna say oh now nah, this meme was garbage you have terrible taste dude i'm just trying to have a good time man just like be online and waste my time like i usually do but nonetheless waste some time speaking of online gaming online gaming is such a crazy environment you got like the people who are just trying to play games just chill don't really talk or anything and then you got those rude people who flame everybody they're just rude to the enemies they're rude to their own teammates they're like you suck you suck you suck i'm sure some of you can understand that but that's just the very light way of putting what those rude people usually say and then you have the rude people when you experience when you drive and if you've ever been in a car in some type of vehicle just probably walked along the street and just saw some crazy driving happening going on you know what i'm talking about there's people who cut everyone off all they care about is themselves about getting from point A to point B the fastest without regarding anybody else that's on the road or who might be near it. 
or even just nobody on the road and there's the property near it. First of all, that's just really dangerous how some people like out there drive without caring about anything else around them. So it's just wild to me how people are just like, you know what, it's my business. I do what I want. No one else matters. When you're driving like 80 miles an hour in a few thousand pound like vehicle, that thing can literally instantaneously kill like anybody it hits. So just keep that in mind guys. Be safe when you're driving and don't be rude or anything because that's just wild. Then there's those people who seem nice in the beginning but after they don't get what they want, they're just super rude about it. Like, they're so nice, like, oh, let me get this for you, let me get that for you, let me do this or that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And then, when you say no, after they ask you for something, they just blow up. Or sometimes it's not even like them doing a lot, it's like, hey, hi, how are you? And then you're just like, nah, man, I'm not feeling it today. And then they're just like, dude, why? They just blow up on you just because you rejected, like, whatever request they wanted. Whether they're into you, whether they wanted, like, you to just say hi back or smile or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I can kind of understand people being rude. When, especially if they're having a bad day and they're just like trying to get through that day, like, okay, let me just calm down and avoid people so I don't blow up on anybody. But you know, some things happen. It's always okay to express your own emotions, but it's not okay to harm others because of your emotions. That's quite a mood. And that's the tea for today in my Rad Dad mug, which I am not a dad, by the way. I just have this mug because my friend got it for me. Because there's this running joke that I act like a dad, a kind, caring dad. All right, guys, well, that's been it for today. Thanks for watching me. Enjoy the tea if you have any tea. Uh, if not, here's some of my tea, all right? But yeah, I'm just here to sip the tea, not spill any, because that'd be a waste of tea. Just like the Bostonians did back in the day. <laughs> but as always, guys, from your heart, take care of yourself, take care of others, spread love, and peace.